I'm here with a pink speaks about me doing something illegal. <laughs> pink speaks. This was a genuine, honest mistake. However, the consequences could have been quite severe. So um, I just want you guys to pay attention while you're doing anything with driving because you, I could have actually been put in jail. It's probably the worst case scenario. Um, I could have gotten warning. I could have gotten hefty fine tickets, stuff like that. Thankfully, nothing happened and I wasn't pulled over, but I'm gonna let you guys know the story right now. Okay, my Camaro I drive in the summer and like the nice weather without snow and when the cooler weather start coming and then there's snow I switched to my Cavalier as my winter car. I could drive it in the snow, but um, I prefer a winter car Let's just not get into that. But basically I have a winter car and a summer car. It's like mid-October It's probably gonna start snowing soon. So I switched over to my Cavalier and uh, Dalton was like, yeah, let's go to Canadian Tire and get some things for it to get it ready for the winter like antifreeze and oil and stuff I don't know because you know this is me <laughs> so we go to Canadian Tire and um, I follow him there because right after that we're gonna go work on the car or he's gonna work on the car as I clean it out getting it ready for to be driven because it's been parked for the summer so if it's a car's just like parked and sitting you're gonna need to like tune it up and touch it up and stuff so the day before that actually um, I couldn't drive it to go register it because you can't drive an unregistered vehicle so um, I didn't do that I waited for Dalton to come home and then we went to the place and we got it registered plated and everything like that so I was able to drive it illegal legally yay happy so I'm like yay awesome so then the next day is when we're going to Canadian Tire we drive to Canadian Tire together and we park and we go shopping buy the stuff come back out Dalton lost a $50 bill in the parking lot cool we drive to his acreage because there's a nice big garage there and then work on the vehicle so after that then we drive home the next day driving because I did some errands I was actually out for most of the day I was getting food and paying bills and just like you know getting groceries and stuff and doing a lot of things so I was driving that car all day all right so I come home park it Dalton comes home and then we want to go out for the night so we're gonna take his car so I need to go around to go into the passenger side of his vehicle to get in and when I do that I just stop and he's like what and I said, there's no license plate on my vehicle. <laughs> and he said, what? And I said, there's no license plate on my vehicle. That we're like, what the heck? Wait, we would have noticed this because we were following each other and we went with each other and then worked on the vehicle. We would have noticed if there was no license plate. Somebody must have stolen it. I don't know when or where, maybe when I was out for most of the day driving. And that sucks because you cannot drive a vehicle without a license plate. Let's just say your license plate, uh, where I live, the laws and rules are different in different countries, states and stuff like that. But where I live, um, if your license plate is like falling off or if it doesn't screw in you still have to display it in a noticeable place so like at your back window or something or you have to have some sort of registration in your back window to know that that car is legal you can't just like drive a car for fun and not plate it so I'm like awesome somebody stole my license plate so then I went and checked the Camaro the Camaro's license plate was still there so I said okay that's very odd and Dalton said the screws if I would have taken off license plate I would have left the screws in the car still I wouldn't have taken them out so I'm like this is awesome and I was driving illegally that's cool so I said I'm gonna cancel everything and report it, report it stolen and all that OMG so we go out for the night get your mind off of it come home and literally the license plate is in my house what what? Yeah. That car has been parked for five months. Like, okay, wait, approximately, oh my God. I don't, since the summer, the whole summer. Okay, the warm-ish days I've been driving the Camaro. Can't be five months. It's gotta be like three. I don't know, cool. That's not, that's not the point. The point is it's been parked, undriven, sitting there. So why would we take off the license plate? I would like to know. So it was just in my house. I don't have a garage, so I don't like, you know, have a place to store these things. So it was just like in there without any screws on it. So the fa the moral of this story is, is that I drove illegally for two days. Illegally. I just got in a car that had no license plate and drove it around and was like, yeah, loving life with the radio off and my blonde hair 
going out the window. I drove illegally. Do you guys know what could have happened to me? Like if a cop saw me driving illegally and pulled me over. And I'm here to tell you guys that even if you go and do something and it's all legit, make sure it's shown. Seems like the most common sense thing ever, but literally, I don't, I don't remember taking off that plate ever. Why would we take off a license plate to park it? I have no idea, we didn't. So I feel like there's a ghost in our house <laughs> because somebody like took it off and then put it in my house. I don't know. Cool, ghost. Hi, bye Felice ghost. I would have gotten a serious ticket for driving an unplated vehicle. I actually am gonna Google to see what Oh my god. I drive with a license plate all the time. Somebody says it's legal in my state. Okay, so I live in Canada, so states might be different, but I you can't do that where I live. You can't just drive without a plate. Why don't I just phone the police station? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Don't worry guys, I'm not 911ing it. Literally gonna ask the cops. Hi, um, I was just wondering what the fine was for um, driving without a license plate, but it's actually plated, but you don't didn't display your license plate. They don't even know. One hundred dollars. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, bye. I was taking selfies. <laughs> One hundred dollars. I should have been like, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I did that for two days. So is that two hundred dollars? <gasps> oh, I thought I was still. <laughs> One hundred dollars. I sat down and made this video over $100 and I was like, girl, you could be in jail, you could go to jail for this. <laughs> I could have actually been put in jail. I could have actually been put in jail, in jail, jail. $100, okay, still, $100 could like feed a family legit. $100 could pay like cell phone bills, $100, you could do a lot with $100, all right? You could buy some shoes, 100 gummy worms. Wait, they're not a dollar, they're like five cents. I'm not doing that math, honey. 100, okay. All my friends were like, so bad, you could do jail. Okay, one person was like, you could go to jail for that. And I'm like, okay, but it was actually plated, right? But. I'm just here to tell you guys to be safe on the road, know the rules of the road, and make sure your car is legit. If one of your signal lights is burnt out and you have no idea, you can get a ticket for that. So just make sure that your vehicle is in working full condition, know the rules of the road. I had a situation about window tinting that I didn't know was illegal. I will leave that video link in the description box down below at the top for you guys. But we had some friendly, nice information from the police department for $100. So I wouldn't have gotten that ticket, you guys, because I would have been like, what? I literally have no idea. Come with me to my house and let's find this license plate. That's what would have happened. But please drive safe and legally and know the rules in your place and just um, know your place, honey. <laughs> I love you guys. Sorry for being dramatic, but uh, that's my life. I hope you guys have a great day. Oh, and the license plate is on my view. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> Okay, basically you have to have license plate screws. So we have to go and grab some of those, but I have the plate. I'm gonna put it on before I drive again. I promise you guys. All right, I hope you guys have a great day and enjoyed this story and you know, the police were in my video. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.